Alright folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today, I'll stop teasing you. We're finally going to do the Jokerless Challenge on the proper challenge deck. If we go into the challenges menu here, alright, Jokerless is the last one for a lot of folks, the hardest one. Zero Joker slots. So already, if you have no Joker slots, then that prevents you from ob obtaining Jokers. However, to help us with this challenge, in the shop, there will be no Jokers clogging the shop. And so, you know, the, the normal balance is about two thirds Jokers and about one third consumables. And so if we don't have any Jokers, you're gonna get three times as many consumables in the shop as you normally have. So you're gonna have way more tarot cards, way more uh, planet cards. Planet cards going to help you, you know, level up your poker hands and then score more points. The tarot cards are going to help you manipulate your deck, making it easier for you to find your scoring hands. Also here we have uh, the cards that would generate jokers are also removed. And so also the buffoon packs removed, which means you're going to have slightly more celestial packs, slightly more arcana packs. Again, you know, more planet cards, more tarot cards. Also here with the skip tags, all all of these skip tags that care about jokers are removed and so it's going to be easier for you to find you know the skip tags that give you money uh easier for you to find let's say uh orbital tag that levels up your hands as well and so this will have very similar flavor to let's say the zodiac deck if you tried to play the zodiac deck jokerless it would feel like this um you know having the extra you know, planet card and tarot card vouchers, and then also the overstock voucher. So here are the rules. The rules are uh, no restarts. Um, we just play until either we win or lose. All right, um, looking at the skip tags here, we can take four bucks or we play it out. In the first round here, you know, typically I'm looking for a high straight or a high flush. Maybe high flush more often than the high straight. So I'm gonna go for, maybe I'll do this. Maybe, since I'm throwing away hearts and clubs, I'm gonna keep spades. And I'm gonna throw away this three of diamonds. So even though I'm going for a flush, you know, maybe a diamonds flush, if I have the three of diamonds, it's not gonna be a one shot because it's gonna be not enough chips. So I'll discard like this. All right, so now I've got spades if I want. And so by discarding, you know, clubs and hearts, then I drew these spades. All right, do I want to, again here, you know, throw away the two? So like currently, if we get the ace of spades, that would be a one shot. I'm gonna throw away the two. So here, king, queen, 10, seven, so not quite. We have one more discard looking for spades. There we go. Actually a straight flush if we want. All right, so, you know, let's talk about strategy here, right? So a thing that's difficult on the jokerless challenge is just getting off the ground and so when you pick up you know in a normal run when you pick up your first joker your first plus molt joker you know let's say you go from four molt here to you know plus 10 on top of that you're scoring three and a half times as much as before um if you get like a plus 20 joker you know like the sinful jokers um then you're scoring six times as much points as you were before right compared to just the planet card getting a jupiter card maybe increases your scoring by i don't know 30 percent or 40 percent or something like that and so okay we can't get the jokers but what we can do is we can try to go for planet cards so what i suggest is if you see celestial packs you gotta buy them you gotta buy every celestial pack that you see and so here for this mega celestial pack is actually not that bad Maybe do I want to use this hermit here? So, you know, buy it, of course. Then if I use it, I can go up to $14. There is a consideration for you buy the hermit, you hold on to it until the next round, and then it's worth way more money. But I think, 
you know, I want the scoring help here from the Celestial Pack. All right, I can take two of these. Let's take straights and then also straight flushes. So maybe what I'm thinking is like short term we'll play straights and then long term we'll play straight flushes. Straights have an advantage over f f regular flushes in that, you know, straights have the planet card scaling is, you know, much higher numbers, much higher chips and molt. Potentially worth more points if we can draw them. So, you know, how do we get a straight here? We have a 10 jack queen. So we could discard like this looking for a nine. You actually have a better chance of getting a straight if you throw away this eight here. Obviously you don't get the straight right away, but you do have a better chance of getting it in the future. And so now, you know, I can get either an ace or a nine. I have two possible draws that I could get. There are seven cards that I could get. They did the math and they determined that this is the optimal way to draw straights. All right, next, if I'm going to play straights, this is exactly the thing that I want. I want the extra hand size to help me make straights. And so if I was playing flushes instead, I would buy the Mega Celestial Pack for the scoring. Since I'm playing straights instead, I don't have as much pressure, you know, cause I already have, um, you know, the one Saturn card gives you twice as many chips as the one uh, Jupiter card. So I'm gonna take the paintbrush here and then go next. All right, I need a straight. So maybe discard like this. All right, five, six, seven, eight. I could get either a nine or a four. That's a lot of possible outs. All right, let's try the four. All right, now we can win with two pair. This is pretty big. Extra, extra hand size. I don't need it yet. Okay. Here I can win with two straights, 800 points. So four, five, six. Let's go for, yeah, let's go for a seven or possibly a three. Another five, or sorry, another six and another four. There we go, eight, seven, six, five, four. Actually, I'm gonna play the three. So I've already thrown away all my fours and I've thrown away some sixes as well. And so if I need to play two straights, I already know that I need to play two straights. I'm gonna keep the higher cards. All right, and then we can do this. All right, how about... I have another round here where I can buy this uh, in the next round. Uh, we do take the Celestial Packs. So, you know, normally the, the rule is you only buy Jokers. You don't buy Booster Packs until after you have enough money. And so here, since we can't buy Jokers, we're gonna buy the Celestial Packs to help us score in place of our Jokers. Our Arcana Packs will wait. Our Arcana Packs will wait until after we get money in the bank. All right, now with a level three straight, um, I think it's still two, I think it's still two straights, but it might even be one, I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. And here's another one. All right, so for the boss here, we've got 1600. I could do that with two straights. And to get two straights, we can pick up the pallet here. I think you do open these. Celestial packs for the Saturn cards. 
Um, I'm gonna take the gold card for the money. All right, between the two of these, you know, this gives me, you know, leveled up one hand that I play. Yeah, you know, if I get the enhanced cards in that one hand, um, I'd like to get this, but I can't afford it anymore. So, yeah, maybe I'm gonna keep saving my money now. We don't need the Empress. If it was earlier in the run, if it was the first shop, I might consider taking the Empress, but now we don't need it. Now that we have level four straights, I think we do have a winning hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a gold card here in the middle and then play this straight. All right, how about these Celestial Packs? Neptune is great too. Um, yeah, another Neptune card. All right, uh, I do want the boss reroll voucher. So let's see if we can save our money. There's the top up tag. If you if you get the vouchers that give you the extra Joker slot, if you get the antimatter voucher, you can actually use the top up tag and you can get a Joker in the Joker list challenge. I think of it more as like an Easter egg rather than like an oversight. All right, do I want to keep a two? Uh, we don't need to. All right, let's go. I need a nine. How do I want to slice it? Uh, if I discard like this, I could get either a nine or a king. There we go. We do need two straights though. All right, we have nine. Let's discard like this. We get either a five or a 10. We get both, of course. And we get the three bucks, which is now an extra dollar of interest. Excellent. Okay, I think I want to keep saving my money. Let's go Priestess first. I want to use the Priestess first because I want the death card potentially. And so, you know, after seeing what this is, then I could decide to sell it maybe. Let's go Spectral Pack. Aha. Of course. All right, now we're cooking. Now we can go pick up a death card here. I'm looking to copy my gold card, possibly. No repeat hand types. That's pretty stinky, but I think we could play a straight flush for the boss. Uh, we could re-roll the boss. It'll be fine, we'll be fine. Uh, let's take this Arcana pack now that we can afford it. All right, what's the way to help us make our straight flushes? So, how about, sorry, we, we did the immolate, right? So we should reevaluate where we're at here. Uh, so for my spades here, I, have, I just lost the five of spades. I have everything else here. So maybe I'm looking at here with the world, we can make, how about a uh, jack nine and an eight will help with a straight flush and then go next. All right, so let's discard the nine and the 10 and an extra ace. All right, I'm looking for a jack or I guess I'm looking for a five to go with my ace. Let's go for the jack this way, this way. Ace, king, queen, jack, 10. All right, two straights. Uh, maybe three straights? Yikes. We need more Saturn cards. All right, um, this is a straight. I can dig for my gold card. All 
Maybe. So maybe this death card ends up being a glass card. Let's see here. We take the hermit. Let's go Jumbo Arcana. All right, uh, another hermit, sure. Actually, all right, buy the voucher. Let's um. Just more money, or do I want a glass card? Hmm, that's tough. I think we need the help, the scoring help. I think we need the glass card since we haven't gotten that many Saturn cards. Hmm, or we can make more spades. If I do make a glass card, what kind of glass card would I make? Hmm. Maybe a glass nine and then use the death card to copy it. Is that what I would do? Let's do it. Glass nine. Mm, we don't need the moon. Saturn, that we do need. All right, what else? Go again. Hierophant, that should get us there. All right, so we can play A straight if we want. And we will. I just wanna make sure should I wait for my glass card? No, we'll just play the straight while we have it. Okay, now let's go for the straight flush. So we got two eights of spades. We get either a five. We have no five of spades. So we need the 10 of spades. We need the eight and the 10 of spades. Okay, let's do it. Mm. All right, discard like this. Okay, so we got the eight. We just need the 10 of spades. Specifically, it's gotta be exactly the 10. There we go. Uh, do we wanna enhance it? Sure, so how about uh, the 10 and the eight? There's my straight flush. All right, what's next? Uh, we'll go Celestial Pack. We've got both Saturn and Neptune, perfect. We can go pick up a Hierophant here if we want. Um, I think I do, yeah. And reroll one time. Neptune, yes. Actually, instead of this Hierophant, how about more spades? All right, let's go next. The boss says no discards. We might reroll that. We'll see, we'll see. I would like to get uh, another 10 here and another 7 here. Can I do that? Uh, here are 10s. This 9, maybe we don't need anymore. The glass 9. Maybe we do this. We use the death card and then discard it. So, discard a 10. And these low cards. All right, where's my, I can need a queen. So discard like this. Uh, do we get rid of a nine? Sure. All right, so if I want, I can go queen, 10, eight. I would like to find a seven. Mm, 
now I can go two sevens and an eight. There we go. So I've got three sevens now, three eights, three nines of spades. Now I just need more tens of spades. There we go, that's a straight flush. All right, so let's pause. Let's reevaluate our situation here. You know, uh, we, you know, having all of the extra consumable cards in the shop, like I said, without any jokers, you have three times as many consumables. So, you know, we're able to level up our poker hands really high. We're able to score a lot of points with straight flushes. The reason we're able to even play straight flushes is because we got all of the extra tarot cards, suit changing tarot cards. And I guess we did get lucky with the Immolate and we also got some lucky Hermits for the money. So, you know, kind of, it's hard to get off the ground, I think, but then, you know, once you get past Antis two or three, then, you know, you pick up all of the extra consumables and it does smooth out the rest of the run. All right, this boss, I am considering re-rolling. 12,000 seems tough, so with no discards, let's re-roll it. Hearts debuffed is a non-issue. All right, let's go for, do we wanna go for the straight flush? We don't have to get the straight flush. We could just play two straights. Two straights will also work. Um, so here I'll just play this straight. I don't want to break my glass cards. Mm, maybe I have to. Sorry, I'm realizing now that uh, this is three straights. I mean, we could do three straights. So we just discard like this. Really trying to be conservative with my glass cards. All right, give me another straight. Um, what do you want? Uh, six we can't get. We gotta go for the ten. Mm. Yeah, still looking for... It's gonna be a ten that we need. Uh, twelve cards left. There's only two tens. So six, seven, eight, nine... Give me a 10. There we go. Turns out it's a straight flush too. I didn't think we would get the straight flush. All right, uh, the Empress now. Yeah, Jumbo Celestial. We gotta take every Celestial pack because of the Saturn planet card scaling. I'll take the Molt cards here. Let's go for our straight flush. So this with the nine here, we don't have the five of spades. So I, again, I need the 10 of spades. I could just play the flush or sorry, the straight with the glass card instead of going for the straight flush. Since I only have the one ten of spades. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna make eight seven. Sorry, actually seven six here. Let's just play this straight. Couple straights. Or maybe just one. All right, sun we don't need. Seed money, probably we're not gonna be able to get up to that much money. So not having the five is really tough because I can get the sevens, eights, and nines, but I only have the one 10 and the one six. I'm not quite there yet on the straight flushes. Uh, the scoring, we need 11,000 we can do. So let's go next here. 
Diamonds debuff, that's not a problem. All right, we can play... This is almost a straight flush too, if we had the Jack of Clubs. I'm just gonna play this straight. Maybe two straights. Maybe two and a half straights. I think we can do this without having to break our glass card. Yeah, a couple of straights should not be a problem. Let's go for the... we have several tens now. Uh, discard like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Uh, I could have discarded for the gold card. Probably should have done that. Pretty good chance of getting it at that point. All right, we got the death card. We can make more glass. I think yes. Strength helps with making straights. Let's go pick up a Neptune card here. Straight flushes are going to do a lot of points. We just need to be able to draw them. I think I do take strength. So, you know, all of these nines, I could turn one into a 10. Uh, I could turn this four into a five, finally. Do I want the seed money? Uh, I got another round to think about it. Uh, let's go next. All right, let's make another glass nine, probably. All right, let's discard like this. And we don't need both of these nines. All right, um, nine, 10, here's an eight and a seven here. So not a straight flush, just a straight. Let's discard the unnecessary cards. Let's go for the straight flush. With the strength card, I think we can get the straight flush. So let's just discard like this. So what do we got here? We got seven, eight, nine. If I want, I can go, this is a 10, this is a nine, and go seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, Jack. There we go. And that's gonna be plenty. All right, we lost one glass card. That's okay. We made an extra one anyway with the death card. Lovers is gonna be very helpful. Celestial pack looking for Saturn or I'm on Neptune now. I'm late enough, I'm feeling more straight flushes. All right, uh, we could take another Neptune card or I could use the lovers and then copy it. I'm gonna go for the Neptune card. I'm gonna go for the scoring. Do I want the seed money? I think what I want, I, th I just want the consistency now, right? I think I wanna spend my money rather than like try to do this. I feel this is greedy with the seed money. So I'm just gonna go you know, we could pick up the devil here for money if we want. Empress will help us with our scoring. Uh, I'll re-roll one more time. All right, does a star help us? No, let's go next. All right, so diamonds are debuffed. I just need any straight flush. So maybe discard like this. Maybe keep the king and discard like this. All right, how about eight, nine? Discard the king. I guess if I make a wild card, the wild card's gonna be debuffed by the boss. That's like pretty awkward. Yeah, I'm gonna discard these. So eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. Not enhanced at all. You know, I don't normally do this, but uh, I'm gonna bust out the calculator. All right, here we go. Let's go, uh, you know, it's like 
I don't know, let's say 550 times 35. Hmm. That's not enough, but I can play this straight flush and follow it up with a regular flush. I can make the 8 and 9 here enhanced. Maybe that does it now. Yeah. All right, we can go straights here, Saturn. I'm actually not gonna use this yet. I'm gonna go Celestial Pack first because uh, I have a better chance of getting Neptune if I don't use the Saturn card. There we go. And then now if I want, I can pick up the Saturn card. Probably should have bought this first. Clearance sale voucher for the discount. Decrease level. That's super rude. It's not unbeatable, but it is super rude. There are worse things than this. I think we don't reroll this. All right, 20,000. Can I get there with, you know, how many regular straights would it take? Right. Because I could do this. Actually, you know, this is a great opportunity to make a wild eight, though I would rather have a wild 10. Yeah, let's do it. And then play the straight flush. All right, um, strength helps. So let's go clearance sale first. We'll go Arcana pack. Another glass card. Okay, what do we want to be glass? If we want something to be glass. I would go for a glass seven. Seven of spades. We can go, yeah, pick up a strength card here. Pick up an empress. Reroll one time. Aha. Actually, forget all this stuff here. I need world and I need lovers. There we go. So world now, I wanna make an extra 10 and I wanna make an extra six. Tens and sixes. All right, let's get rid of these. Seven is okay. Uh, let's get rid of these. All right, so what do we got? So we got a six here. Um, I'm gonna drop the seven. Uh, actually, what's the status on the sevens here? If I want to win with the straight flush, I do need uh, the, at least one glass card, I believe. Where's my dang 10? Get rid of this eight here, get rid of the vanilla seven. All right, so two tens and a six, that's perfect. We can play six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Play the one glass card. Wait, that's a flush? Wait a second. That's okay, we can recover from this, I think. Uh, we just need to hit a jack. Sorry, I uh, wasn't paying attention there. So we got the jack and we can make it wild. There we go. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I've been up late doing, working on a seated run. All right, let's go Neptune here world card okay this basically guarantees that we get the straight flush uh we could go spectral pack here uh this stuff we don't need at all and in that case i'm gonna save my money all right we're gonna get de-leveled one time but it's gonna be fine all right we got three tens and two sixes so 
I don't need the nines. I just need a 10. There's a 10. So king, jack here. Um, I've got the queen here. Let's go ahead and do this. So kings and queens and a seven. And we can play the glass card. So king, queen, jack, 10, nine. All right, how about Celestial Pack? Neptune. So, you know, another benefit of having the extra planet cards in the shop is it's easier to block the duplicate planet cards. And then so your Celestial Packs, not only do you get more Celestial Packs, but your Celestial Packs have more value on average. Um, What do I want to be steel is what I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe like a steel 10. That could be helpful. Uh, maybe now I want the seed money, or maybe it's still too late. I mean, my build feels pretty stable. Yeah, let's take the seed money here. Go next. Play five cards, that's not a problem. Not a problem. All right, I think we just keep playing just the one glass card at a time. Let's see if we could get another eight. That'd be nice. So eight, 10, straight flush. Okay, good. All right, uh, sun we don't need. Let's go small arcana pack first. Do I want a steel card or do I want more money? Let's go money. All right, here, do I want a glass card? Yeah, what can we make into glass? We do have a bunch of sevens. Maybe we make another seven here. Um, maybe some consideration for, you know, I'm not able to put two sevens in the same straight, but that's okay. Do I want to use this strength card at all? I could turn a seven into an eight since I'm kind of limited on eights. I could turn a three into a four. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. So seven and three, I'll upgrade those. And then this eight now I'll make into glass. Then reroll once for Neptune. Here I'm actually gonna buy the planet card to block the duplicates. All right, we just need the one straight, one straight flush. So King, Queen, Jack, 10, nine. Let's discard looking for gold. Okay. There's my straight flush. We lose a nine, but we still have three nines left. All right, for the boss here, I do need a little bit more scoring. So maybe a two glass cards or a glass card and a steel card. Mm, I want I know I just bought this, but it only cost me two bucks and I'm gonna sell it for a dollar here. I want the emperor. All right, uh, steel card is great. What do I want to be a steel card? Um, I think we go another steel 10 or maybe we go a steel jack since we already have a steel 10. Uh, we can use this emperor for money. All right, chariot. Jumbo Arcana. All right, what do we want to do here? Do we want to go another steel card? Or do we want to copy our glass seven? Let's make another glass seven. And now we got a ton of money for re-rolling. So we can do this. 
devil. Sure, it'll pay for itself, maybe. Wheel, no. Saturn, I think we don't need Saturns anymore. Though maybe what we could do is, you know, here we said two glass cards. Maybe we play one glass card and we play a straight, regular straight. And save the rest of our money for interest. Pick up a Mars card. Alright, so King, Queen, Jack, 10 here. What flavor 9s do I have? Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to discard all of these. I'm trying to decide, you know, if I want to play a straight in addition to my straight flush. That way, I can save glass cards instead of playing two glass cards. I only have to play one glass card. I. I'm gonna discard the ten. All right, so we got a ten of spades here. We have almost a straight flush. All right, so we got the seven here. We're just missing an eight. So here, king, queen, jack, ten, nine with the steel card. Maybe with the steel card, now it's worth enough points. Or no, I still need a glass card. So I need an eight. How do we get the eight? We have three eights. Should I play this? If I play this, then what am I looking to draw? I'm gonna go for the eight. All right, how do we get the eight? We discard like this. Mm, didn't get there on the eight yet. That's okay. We can discard like this. All right, so seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. I think with the. I was gonna say with the. Um, Steel card, we only need one glass card. We don't need both glass cards, but I guess it's, we don't really have a choice. So here we go. All right. All right, how about we go Wasteful Voucher here. We could pick up a death card to give us another glass card. And, uh, we don't need the devil. We don't need the Hierophant. We probably don't need the Saturn card either. All right, Crimson Heart, uh, random Joker disabled. That's nothing to me. All right, let's play. All I need is one glass card. So seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack here. All right. If I want to use this death card and make another glass card, is that what I want? Or do I make another steel card? And if I make another steel card, what do we make steel? Probably a jack into steel. So let's discard like this. And that way I can turn this six into steel. And play it like this. That way I get to keep this jack for the money. All right, how about an emperor? Hangman, fool for a hangman. So I can remove these and then I can use the fool and I can remove these other ones. I can make a purple seal. Is there a card I want to make into a purple seal? Yeah, maybe uh, aces I'm most likely to discard. All right, magician we don't need. 
Hermit is fine. Plenty of money here. Uh, Empress we don't need. Lovers, maybe. Maybe lovers. Speculate here. Okay. Uh, chariot and we'll go next. Alright, so how about this card like this? Uh, this is a glass seven here, so Alright, I want to keep the jack. I want to If I want to play the glass seven, I have to discard like this Okay, so seven eight nine ten jack like this um, if I want to make another steel card What do we want now like a steel queen? Um, do I want to use my discards possibly? Sorry, seven through jack, okay. Uh, eight, we don't need the nine here. We can discard these. All right, um, this 10 here, do I need to make a, yeah, I'll make a wild 10. Um, I can make a steel card. Let's make a steel four, I guess. Seven, nine, eight, ten, jack. That's my straight flush. All right, pick up the Neptune card and then now look for a fool. Maybe let's do this first. So let's buy the planets. One more time. Lovers again, nah. Wheel, nah. All right, let's go Arcana. All right, uh, we can use a death card to make either more steel cards or potentially more glass cards. Mm. Yeah, what do we got here? Uh, I could go for another 10 of spades. So how about turn this four into a 10? All right, in the other Arcana pack. Emperor, sure, let's go Emperor. All right, we have another glass card. We have potentially more planets too, if we want. Hanged man. Technically, you could use the hangman as like a redraw. So let's go next. Oh, I forgot I wanted to do this. Uh, if I sell both of these, we could reroll the boss. Dang. I was hoping I would get the green one. We actually have, you know, our straight flushes leveled up high enough. We could actually beat the verdant leaf. Um, so let's discard like this. I guess we'll do it the boring way. So here, queen, uh, what's the best hand that I can get? I can get a nine, glass nine. All right, let's go for a glass nine. So I don't need the queen anymore. If I go seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Um, I don't need this jack necessarily. I could get a different jack. I don't need this 10, I could get a different 10. How many, what do we got here? We've got, I get to see the whole deck. So what is my perfect hand? My perfect hand is this 10, but a different jack. Give me the gold jack. All right, I don't need the seven, I don't need the eight. Um, I want this 10 here. All right, we got the nine, we got the 10. Now I just need uh, either the six would be good or the other jack. Uh, we can use the priestess here. Those things are not useful. All right, there's the jack. Great, so here's jack, 10, nine, eight, seven. There's the straight flush.
and that's it that's what you wanted right that's the uh we did the joker list i guess um in my opinion easier than some of the decks trying to play joker list though you know obviously some of the decks have huge advantages like the plasma deck has a huge advantage being able to win with just chips uh the painted deck has a huge advantage having the extra hand size uh here okay you know let's review the strategy so the strategy is in the beginning spend money on celestial packs as soon as you see a celestial pack you buy it don't worry about interest you need the scoring help to get you online um, you want to focus on enhanced cards specifically you're looking for glass cards steel cards and death card to copy those and so you know one benefit of playing flushes is it's really easy to just get random enhanced cards and just shove them all in uh, just have enhanced cards of the same suit uh, with straights it's a lot harder to figure out it's a lot harder to sneak them in but you do get rewarded. You do get rewarded uh, with the higher scaling from the Saturn cards. The, the main thing is you don't really get to feel those benefits until the mid game, right? In the early game, flushes and straights are the same. It's not until you know, anti two or three that you start to really feel the scaling of the straights. So, you know, then also have like a backup plan for the end game. And so like in the early game, it's really easy to get flushes it's really easy to score with flushes but then you know here demonstrating we had this backup plan of uh getting the straight flushes you know even our straights even our straights were starting to fall off and as your straights are falling off then it's okay now i need to play more glass cards per hand and then i'm going to break my glass cards i'm not going to have as many glass cards to use and so having that backup of being able to play the uh, straight flushes the much higher scoring then we were able to play only one glass card at a time. Our glass cards were able to survive for longer. And so also, you know, leverage the fact that the shop has no jokers. The jo shop has three times as many consumables. That's three times as many tarot cards, three times as many uh, planet cards. So use that to, you know, get the deck manipulation that you need in order to do things like this, in order to do things like play straights and play straight flushes or even flush houses these higher scoring hands all right i hope uh you know that helped somebody so you know be kind to yourself be kind to others take care everyone